Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jessica Grujon. I am the Assistant Director of Admissions at Stockton University. I am so happy that you all took time out of your afternoon to join us for our chat with our admissions ambassadors session. Um, you know, we really wish that we could have hosted you on our campus during this time, either at an open house or a daily tour. But because of the circumstances, we are here to connect with you virtually. Now, I'd love to introduce to you all your moderator, Dr. Anna Rodriguez. Dr. Rodriguez joined Stockton University as the Director of Student Transition Program in July of last year to promote inclusive student success and retention from orientation to graduation. She's a Camden native, EOF alumna, and brings a decade of experience of developing student success programs that serve the needs of first year transfer, upper class, and first generation and adult college students. So I'm really excited to introduce to you your moderator, Dr. Rodriguez, take it away. Hi everyone, as Jessica mentioned, my name is Anna, and I also wanna congratulate you on this big accomplishment. Um, and so as Jessica mentioned, I'll be your Zoom show host today. I am from Camden, New Jersey, and my family is from Puerto Rico, and I study psychology and education. Now, enough about me. I'm interested in getting to know our student ambassadors. First up is Daniel. Daniel, please unmute and introduce yourself. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Daniel Lampkin from Bayonne, New Jersey. Um, halfway grew up in Bayonne, halfway in Jersey City. I'm an exercise science major with a minor in Africana Studies. And my advice to incoming freshmen would be to get involved as soon as possible because that just helps you transition easier and get to know people well faster. And also, I would like to say that you should definitely take advantage of having your professors by your side, step by step, every day, and uh, take advantage of the fact that they have office hours and they're willing to help you out. So good point with interacting and mingling with people who are not like you. All right, next person up is Casey. Hi guys, my name is Casey. Um, my hometown is Clayton, Delaware, um, so I am from out of state. Um, I love Stockton and I knew it was the place for me as soon as I came and visited. Um, I'm a criminal justice school degree student, so I'm getting my bachelor's and my master's degree in five years. Um, so there's some savings there as well, some time savings. Um, so it's a really great program. Uh, and my advice to incoming freshmen would be to join as many clubs and organizations as your heart desires. I know at my first Get Involved Fair, I signed up for literally 15 clubs. Um, I didn't stay in all 15 of them, but I found my home at Stockton in about four or five organizations like the Admissions Ambassadors. Um, there, and it really made my Stockton experience 10 times greater than what it could have been. Great. Thank you so much, Casey. Who's up next? Jack. Can everyone hear me? Yes, we can. Right, perfect. Hi, I'm Jack. Um, I am not from East Brunswick. I'm from Manalpa, New Jersey. <laughs> I don't know. Please ignore that. But um, my major is math. Um, <laughs> so if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the Q&A session. And um, advice incoming freshmen, don't be afraid to, uh, you're going to hear this so many times, but don't be afraid to get involved, whether that's joining clubs or showing up to events hosted by clubs, because you never know who you're going to meet there. Like I've joined clubs, like Casey said, and I met some of my best friends. So um, like put yourself out there. Don't be afraid. Like don't try and be too shy because everyone feels the exact same way. Yeah. Great piece of advice. Robbie's up next. How's it going, everyone? Sorry, I took that picture in my backyard, like literally yesterday. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> Something is slide, better than nothing. I love yeah. it. <laughs> so as the slide says, I'm from Washington Township. Um, I'm pre-communications disorders major and I have a minor in theater performance and my advice would be is don't be scared to ask for help when you come to Stockton um, we have the tutoring center for that I've I've asked for a lot of help in terms of like math and science and I've gone there like many times they're extremely helpful so don't be embarrassed about it because um, we do have the tutoring center so yeah that would be my advice excellent who's up next Destiny can you guys hear me yeah. Yay. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Destiny. I am in, I'm finishing my senior year here at Stockton, and I recently got accepted into the um, master's program at Stockton for mental health counseling. So I'll be starting all of, again as a, I guess, freshman um, next 
fall. So I'm excited about that. My hometown is Hasbrook Heights. Um, it's like a little, little one square mile town in North Jersey in Bergen County. I'm a health sciences major with a minor in holistic health. And my advice to incoming students is to change your mind and then change it a hundred more times because I came in as a communication disorders major. I was really dead set on being a speech language pathologist. And the cool thing about college is that it really helps you find your path and it encourages you, especially at Stockton to change your mind, especially with, um, we all have advisors that help us plan out our coursework and the courses that we're going to take and my advisor was more than happy to help me change my mind a hundred times and they're very patient and happy to hear from you so that's it thank you you couldn't be more honest mike you're up next hi guys my name is mike i'm from east brunswick new jersey um it's in central jersey right next to um new brunswick you've probably heard of it um, I have a major in criminal justice with a concentration in forensic psychology and a minor in victimology and victim services. Um, my advice to incoming freshmen, um, as soon as you're admitted to Stockton, they're going to assign you something called a preceptor. It's almost like a guidance counselor. They're an expert in whatever field that you are hoping to study in. And um, I send my preceptor about 10 annoying emails a week. And because you want to get as much use out of them as possible, they're there to answer your questions and help you as much as possible. So. Uh, Yep, that's my advice. Perfect. Tatiana. Hi guys, so my name is Tatiana. Um, I'm from Vineland, New Jersey. Uh, I'm a psychology major with a concentration in empirical research right now, but I'm gonna change it to mental health because I feel like that's my path. Um, and then I have a minor in holistic health. Um, and my advice to incoming freshmen would just be to not be afraid to take a risk. Um, I feel like we come into college and we're kind of scared to take risks because, you know, it's easier to play it safe. But when you come to college, you're coming here to make your own identity um, and you're here to grow as a human being. So I feel like taking risks is the best way to do that. Oh, that's good. Olivia. Hi, everyone. My name is Olivia. Um, my hometown is Brick, New Jersey. I'm originally from South Plainfield, New Jersey. So it's like pretty north and then Brick is now central and now I go to school in South Jersey. So I've been all over the state. Um, I'm a double major in literature and psychology with a minor in writing. Um, and my advice is to try new things as broad as that may sound. Um, I'm specifically talking about um, all your coursework because since we're a liberal arts school, you have the opportunity to take classes in all of your passions, whether that be if you're a math major and you love dance, you can take a dance class, then it'll still count towards your degree. That's kind of why I did literature and psychology because I have the freedom to do so. And I'll have two degrees in four years. So that's my advice. <laughs> awesome. And Catherine. Hi guys, my name is Catherine. Um, I'm from Ringwood, New Jersey, which is a small little town up north. Um, and I am in the health, I'm in the physician assistant program. Um, it's the five year accelerated program with Jefferson University. Um, so I'm a health science major and my concentration, my minor is in um, holistic health. And my advice to incoming freshmen would be to take advantage of all the free things that Stockton has to offer while you're here, um, whether it's events that are hosted in the evening um, through our club like set um, or just like free food that you might find um, out in the cafeteria. So just um, get involved and put yourself out there. Great advice. Um, and given that we are recording, I would like to introduce myself again as Dr. Anna Rodriguez. I am the Director of Student Transition Programs. And my piece of advice is to really utilize the services that you're paying for when you enter Stockton. Um, my hometown is Camden, New Jersey. Uh, my family is from Puerto Rico. And I study psychology and education. Um, and so what I'll do next is we're gonna do a nice game. So let's see if our ambassadors know Stockton, okay? And before, I'm sorry, I, I forgot to mention one last thing. Did we congratulate our incoming freshmen? Let's give it up for our incoming freshmen. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining this webinar. All right, so let's see if our ambassadors know Stockton. We surveyed the campus on Instagram, uh, asking seven simple questions. But ambassadors, you are the only ones who can join the Kahoot game. So get ready, get your phones out to join the Kahoot. You will have to select what you believe was the most popular answer. 
I'm going to get the game started. Are you ready, ambassadors? Here you go. Let's go. First question. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> awesome. So you got it right. Yes, it was. 87% actually chose food court as their favorite place to eat on campus. Daniel, can you unmute yourself and let us know, would you agree? Or what are some great places to eat in the food court? Um, I personally would say that the food court is the most popular place to eat just simply because like everyone likes the Chick-fil-A option. But uh, N-Wing, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say anything bad about N-Wing because of the fact that they have more options in the food court and because of the fact that like if you have a uh, strict like dietary need you could go to N wing and they'll meet any need that you have absolutely it's buffet style and then when you're on a go you could also go to dunkin donuts the beans list which has starbucks products and also abu pan which is like a panera bread right all right let's see who's on top okay Casey, are there other places that you eat at Stockton? Just interested in knowing if there's anything else. Um, so I live on the Atlantic City campus at Stockton. Um, so I frequent that food court um, a lot. Uh, my favorite place in that food court would probably be the Carluccio's Pizza. Um, they have a really good like buffalo chicken honey pizza. So it's like sweet and spicy at the same time. Um, and then they also have like the chicken tenders that they'll like mix in different sauces. So they have like a honey barbecue that's really good. Oh my goodness. I'm a vegetarian, but I do miss meat sometimes. <laughs> Second question. Hit it. Okay, so only four of you were right. University Re Weekend was the most popular um, selection. So 68% chose University Weekend. Jack, can you unmute yourself and, and describe what University Weekend looks like? So University Weekend is kind of just, it's kind of like a homecoming weekend, but it's more so about like Stockton spirit and just like showing us, um, like, sorry, I'll get back and get to that in a second. But um, basically we all just come together, all the clubs and organizations. So there's a lot of like shows, like we do a comedian. Um, I'm on the programming board. So we always host a lot of stuff there. Like, um, it's a, from Thursday to Sunday, I believe. And on Saturday, we have a, like a whole day where we just have like inflatables and carnival games and stuff like that. So um, that's just one thing that's there. There's a lot of food trucks, which is my favorite part. Um, I'm trying to think what else is there. And there's a lot of like vendors where you can kind of like, kind of like a flea market, but like it's not like a flea market because it's on campus. <laughs> but um, there's just a lot to do. Um, my, all of my family comes down and it's just a good weekend music dancing cornhole all that good stuff right we yeah. played musical chairs i think i was second place and robbie describe what's your favorite annual event at stockton you know between the between midnight breakfast and university weekend so i chose university weekend because i i don't know it was kind of a 50 50 shot but i love the midnight breakfast because they always have like a performer that comes there or like a band and the breakfast is always like delicious the bacon's always great um, I believe I believe set and RAs help with the event, but I'm someone can correct me on that if I'm wrong. But it's like it's a great time to if you're if you're like studying and you just want to like take a break, you know, the food's always good there. So did they skate? Like did they create a whole skating rink this year? I don't that's a good question. I don't know. Did they? I saw it on the flyer. Cause don't they do it a couple times like throughout the year? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the one I went to in the fall, I don't think had it, but I could be wrong. Okay. It was up. All right. Robbie, you're in third place. Next question. Most popular answer for best resource helping students succeed at Stockton. What do you think?
the correct answer was actually supportive professors because 73% chose supportive professors. Um, Destiny, what would you have chosen and why? So I actually did choose supportive professors and um, so far I've been choosing like my own personal <laughs> preference rather than what I think is the most popular. Um, because I, I'm probably one of the majority, but me personally, um, my freshman year, um, second semester, well, first semester I had a class in um, intro to the health sciences. So it was the first class I've ever had. I made the mistake of like, you know, asking to go to the bathroom. So everyone was like, oh, you're in college now. Like, and it was really funny. It was a good lighthearted class. And um, my second semester freshman year, I didn't have that same professor for any of my classes, but I was sitting out in the hallway and I guess I looked stressed <laughs> and, you know, as college does to you and I was also working. So I think I was just having an off day and that professor, his name is Professor Anthony Disson. Um, he came up to me and he gave me half of his vegan sandwich and he just sat down and talked to me for, I want to say 45 minutes to an hour, just about my life and what he can do to help me and you know he offered to be my advisor and this was just a conversation that came out of nowhere pretty spontaneously so supportive professors have really made my transition from you know one major to the next and transition from one minor to the next really easy and really simplistic and very comfortable wow that's amazing thank you for sharing all right People are moving up the scoreboard. Next question. Okay. So the most popular answer for resource utilized most on campus was actually tutoring. 68% chose tutoring. Mike, we have resources like the gym, the library, learning access program, career education development, the list will go on. What services do you utilize most on campus? As for me, um, referring to the last question, like the support services, there's plenty of them, but I turn to my professors most of the time. Um, but tutoring, as we see in this question, is awesome. Um, Stockton provides free tutoring. It's included with our tuition. You can go, they have really late hours and it's all provided by real students um, that just do it in their free time. Um, the counseling's great. The learning access prog uh, program is awesome. Um, all you have to do is like submit something that says, you know, I, I need a little bit extra help in class and your professor will recognize that. And what they'll do is they'll give you a little bit extra time on exams. Um, they might provide a note taker for you in class to help you out if you're not good at taking notes. Um, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of things that'll help you on campus. Awesome. Thanks. Daniel moved up. Next question is, most popular answer for where students frequent most? Galloway or is it AC? The answer was Galloway. 91% chose Galloway. Tatiana, what are the pros and cons of both Atlantic City and Galloway? Um, yeah, I get asked, asked this a lot on my tours. Um, what are the pros and cons and like, what's the difference? Um, for me, I feel like Galloway is like the hub of everything that is like student life. And like, of course that is extended here to this campus. And I feel like, um, because this campus, campus is so new and it's a little bit smaller than, you know, our main campus. Um, a lot of people aren't, you know, like they they don't want to come here as much um as Galloway because you know this is like a smaller campus there's two buildings and so um you know you come here if you need classes or if you want to get Carluccio's pizza or something like that but um you know to be realistic you know Galloway campus has a lot more student life just because there's a lot more people there you know that's that's true a lot of commuters go there and a lot of commuters go come here um but that you know, the campus center is like everything that like all students go to the campus center. And so that's like a, a nice little place for everybody to go. Um, and that would be like the pros and cons, like, you know, Atlantic City is an extension of the Galloway campus. And, you know, because it is a little bit smaller, um, a lot of people are not here, but I live on Atlantic City campus. I'm actually here right now. I don't know if you can see the building behind me. Um, and I love this campus and I love Galloway. So either way, it's good for me. Thanks. 
If I can just add one more thing to what Tatiana was saying about AC. Um, I know a couple of us here, um, Destiny, Tati, and I, um, we all live in Atlantic City. Um, and I think a pro that should be added to the AC campus is we do have the ocean. I don't know if Tati said this right there. Um, it's right outside our building. Uh, so my bedroom this year actually looked out on the ocean and Destiny is actually in an oceanfront apartment. Uh, so I know a lot of Stockton students like to come over to just sit on the beach and do their homework. Um, that's definitely a pro as well as you know I like the idea of living in the city um, it's a lot busier than the Galway campus is the Galway campus is more you know rural maybe suburban but this is like city life so you have the you know all the different types of people you have fun restaurants to go to you have the nightlife um, I just I, I think that's something worth noting um, Tati you covered a lot of it yes thanks for adding all right we're on we have two more questions what is the most popular answer for the one thing students done or plan to do while at Stockton? All right. So the correct answer was internships. 73% chose internships. Olivia, what can you say about opportunities that we have at Stockton? You can include anything from internships, study abroad, service learning, or even research. Um, so there's a lot of different things to do in terms of uh, like professional growth at Stockton. Of course, you're going to always have personal growth through just taking classes, joining clubs, organizations, and being on your own. But the reason, like the big reason, obviously, you're going to school is to have a career, go on your career path. So having all of these different professional growth options are really, really important. I think my favorite, just because of what I'm doing and what I want to do, um, is the research aspect. I'm in the psychology program as well as literature. But for psychology, I do a lot of research in terms of like wanting to go to grad school. I want to go I eventually get my PhD, but you know, that's that's way down the line. Um, so it's really cool to be able to do all types of research, um, whether it be like uh, one of the professors, Dr. Berg, he does like animal testing, but like cool animal testing, like good, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it in like a good way, but he has his pet, he literally calls them his pet rats or his babies, his children. He takes care of them. You get to go into the lab and just watch them behave and stuff. I just think that's such an awesome opportunity to be able to have. Um, as well as all the other awesome things like internships that you can get credit for to graduate. Same thing with studying abroad. Um, even just the career center, or it's not called their career center anymore. I think it's, I don't remember the exact name that it's called, but it's like something about career the, education and career development. education development. Yep. Because it's not just to get a career. You need to know about your career and what you want to do. You might not even know what you want to do. So that's why you go to those types of offices and you know, all the awesome information. Yeah. Good point. Thanks. Hey. All right, we have the last question. What's the most popular answer for having a job on campus? Does it help balance my study? True or false? All right, so the answer was true because 65% chose true. Catherine, what are the pros of working on campus? And tell me, can you tell me what are some of the types of jobs to choose from? Yeah, um, so one of the major pros that I first think of is um, you don't have to worry about commuting to a job off campus. Um, you can just leave your dorm or your apartment on campus and head on over to the campus center or the gym because um, Stockton just offers such a wide variety of um, employment options while you're here. Um, and one of the best parts is that they understand that you're a student, um, you're working for a university, so they get that your studies will come first. Um, and another big perk of having a job on campus is you get time to do your work, even while you're sitting at a desk swiping people in or um, handing out um, game room equipment for the coffee house area. Um, so I think that is just one of the biggest perks of having um, a job on campus. Good, good response. Let's see who's the winner. What will it be? Uh oh. Catherine's in third, Daniel's in second. Who is it? Casey. Good job, oh. Casey. <laughs> yes, good job, Casey. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I guess I knew more than I thought I did. <laughs> I was yes. just kidding. 
Give each other a virtual high five for a great game. <laughs> All right, give me five minutes to talk about student transition programs. Um, so I like to say, or consider the homepage of our website as a graduate path to success. It's our GPS. As you can see, if you click into freshman experience, you'll see everything that you should be doing during your freshman year, all the way down to your senior year. Look forward to support this summer and fall from our very own talents. Yes, they are in our office. They are the transition activity leaders of new students and they help you throughout um, the course of the summer as well as the fall, helping you choose classes, helping you get involved and just answering your questions throughout the year. Get connected with identity groups. Someone mentioned it, you know, don't, you can get involved in so many different types of clubs. Now we have the first Ospreys group, which is an organization that provides support and resources to students who are first in their family to go to college. And if, when you're a first generation college student, you can have a sibling who went to college, but what it means is your parents did not um, complete their degree. Um, and we're here to support you. So you can definitely find me or email me um, or call me. My email address is anna.rodriguez at stockton.edu. And my phone number is 609-652-4877. Definitely join our Facebook group, Stockton's Student Transition Programs. And there you can talk and discuss anything with your peers, whether it's um, about housing or books or classes and so forth. Follow us on Instagram, Stockton Transition Programs. Here we will share um, pictures, tips, um, opportunities, resources. Thank you so very much for watching this webinar with us and thank you ambassadors for your time and playing the game on Kahoot. I'd like to just jump in and say thank you so, so, so much, Dr. Rodriguez, for putting this interactive session together for our newly accepted students. Um, I want to congratulate the accepted students once again for tuning in this afternoon to learn more about the student perspective at Stockton. And we look forward to hosting you at a future session. Have a good night, guys.